Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. It's Celine Driver once again, uh, coming to you today with a uh, review of a uh, watch that was loaned into the channel. Uh, this is a uh, straight loan. I do not own this watch. I am receiving no compensation for reviewing this watch. Uh, I was contacted by the people who uh, own the uh, watch company, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Feynman, F-E-Y-N-M-A-N, and they asked me to do a review of their dive watch, their upcoming dive watch, but uh, accidentally sent me a different watch. They say I'll get the dive watch eventually, but they did ask me to review this watch too, see what I thought about it and offer my opinions to my uh, viewers and subscribers. So I said, fine. Um, they did not uh, speak to me about sponsorship and I didn't ask. So that's on me, I guess. But uh, this is an unsponsored uh, video just asking me to look the watch over and I said I would. So my opinions on this watch are strictly my opinions. They are not um, under any kind of influence from Feynman or anybody else. And when I'm done with the watch, I'll be sending it back. Unless they want to give it to me, in which case, you know, I won't say no. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, Feynman's packaging is very simple, uh, at least the packaging they sent to me. This is a little pouch, feels like, uh, feels like leather, might be leather, I'm not sure. A couple of snaps to pop it open. And you have the uh, Feynman timepieces um, logo sewn onto the inside. And inside the pouch, you have a watch, a very nice watch. Um, I'm not the biggest dress watch fan in the world. I prefer divers or other kind of watches of that nature, although I do have some dress watches. Uh, and this one is particularly very nice watch. I was very, uh, very happy to uh, look at it when I um, when I opened her up after it arrived. It's just you know, really a nice, good weight to it. Very high quality stainless steel um, watch. I love the I love the coin edge. Um, on the uh, case in particular, you know, I mean, for a dress watch, it's a little bit on the thick side, but um, definitely an interesting looking watch. And a nicely decorated movement as well. Very nice. And I and the one particular detail that I really liked was that very unusual second hand, that, that kind of interesting curve in it um you gotta admit you don't see that kind of uh kind of detail every day and you know and it has that little railroad inside they have two railroad track um for uh for things you have the inside track and and then you have a railroad track down the outside for the minutes I think it's for minutes, it might be for hours. That thing kind of distorts, so anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to try it on real quick here for you. I wish the strap were a little bit longer for, for me. Um, that's one thing I did notice, the strap was a little bit short. I'm only able to get this thing onto the second hole from the, uh, from the far end. But uh, it does fit, but it's really not going to fit too many bigger wrists than mine. So you can see it's on the second hole from the end. You got a whole bunch of holes there. So smaller wrists than mine, which is seven and a quarter, uh, this, this watch would fit really well. But if you're, you know, maybe a seven and a half inch wrist, you're probably going to have to get a bigger band. Although... You know, given the size of the watch, you're probably not going to fit somebody very well with a bigger wrist than mine. It's going to look a little strange. But uh, 
the lug overhang is is just fine it hits the um hits my wrist very nicely doesn't look too small on my wrist but anyone with a bigger wrist than mine it's going to look too small probably just a beautiful watch though really is uh, I, I had not heard of uh, Feynman, uh, to be honest. I hadn't heard of the watch before they contacted me. Uh, but um, I'm really happy they did because this is a really nice watch and it's a, definitely a company that I'm going to keep an eye on going forward. Very nice. Anyway, I have some little sheet of facts for you to uh, inform you more about what uh, this watch is. It is the uh, Feynman 1 Eclipse. It is a dress watch. Um, that's kind of obvious. I mean, you know, I don't even know why I wrote that down. It's a 39 millimeter diameter. Uh, so for, for me, my particular taste, this is right on the bottom line of, uh, I, I usually don't, go with watches any smaller than 40 maybe 39 maybe 38 but i generally try and stay at 40 and above so this one is kind of right on the edge but it still looks good when i wear it uh it is uh 12 and a half millimeters thick and it is 46 and a half millimeters lug to lug with a 20 millimeter lug width so this will definitely accept other straps so if your wrist is pushing the limits on this stock strap uh, you can always fit it with something else uh, it uses an ETA 7001 movement beautiful Swiss movement high quality uh, it is a manual wind you can see there is no rotor so this is a pure manual wind watch so you're gonna have to keep up with it <coughs> pardon me um, and with it but with a 42 hour power reserve you could wear it put it down and uh, still be running the next day and uh, just wind her up again until she stops taking uh, taking a wind and uh, then she's ready to go again but nicely decorated movement the blued screws um, you have the uh, Cote de Genève if I I'm pronouncing that right. I'm, I'm trying to be funny about that. I'm sure there's a better way of pronouncing it, but you have the uh, Geneva stripes on the uh, bridges and plates. Um, no engine turning hmm. or pelage, I think they call it. I can't see any, but uh, you know, everything is nicely decorated. I mean, it's not the most decorated movement I've ever seen before, but uh, it, it's nice presentation, looks really good. Let's see, uh, stainless steel case, I think I mentioned that already, also stainless steel signed buckle. Uh, let's see, sapphire crystals uh, front and rear. I love the front crystal, the way it has that kind of ramp up right there. It gives a nice little distortion and then it goes away almost immediately. Uh, 100 meter water resistant, uh, not really a, um, a swimmer type watch, but if you know you're at a party and somebody gets goofy and shoves you in a pool at least your watch will survive and a very nice lizard skin um, blue gray lizard skin strap i've never worn a watch with a lizard skin strap before i think the underside is calf skin but uh the lizard skin looks really nice i, I never had a watch in my possession before with lizard skin it's either been leather or alligator um, I think one has crocodile. I don't know. But very nice. It feels good. Looks good on the wrist. I mean, just a nice looking watch. Really, uh, really happy with this one. I, I, I know these are for sale. I will leave a link to uh, Feynman's um, website uh, in the description so you can check out the different colorways. I think there's three other colorways besides the blue. I know there's a black one. I can't remember the other two off the top of my head, but I know there are four. I love the, the, the shape of the hands. Um, 
the minute and the hour hands, very nice, very nicely polished. Little Feynman logo down at the bottom instead of messing up the, uh, the inside uh, area. I like the, the, the different textures in the, uh, the dial area and the subdial area um, as opposed to the blue surrounding it. You know, and it catches the light very nicely. You can see that. And it's just a, a great little watch, really is. I, I'm really glad that uh, these folks contacted me because I'm very... Uh, very uh, happy to uh, review this and wear it for a while. I'll be sad to send it back, really. Um, I think I say that about all the loaned-in watches, but uh, it's true. You know, you, you, you get a watch in and you you kind of fall in love with it a little bit and have that honeymoon time and you really enjoy it. And if it's a watch that's got to go away, you're really sorry to see it go. So there you go. I'm going to be sorry to see this one go. Anyway... I'm going to wrap the video up because there's not much more to say beyond uh, what I've said. And I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day because why not? <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, the thumbs up, the uh, clicking of the thumbs up, the like button, whatever you want to call it, does help my channel. It does help with the um, YouTube algorithms. It makes my channel more searchable and more likely to pop up when people are searching for things um, uh, because of the likes. I'm not sure how it works exactly, but that's how it works. Uh, down below, comments, questions, suggestions. I'll read them all. I'll respond to them all. I will delete negativity and I'll block the uh, poster. And if you're new to my channel or you've been here a while and you haven't already done so, please click the red subscribe button uh, and click the bell icon next to it so when I upload new content, you are alerted to it. Uh, I am trying to grow the channel every day. I appreciate all the people who have supported me to this point. I hope that people will uh, come by and uh, join and be entertained. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, when I'm making this video, which is in March of 2020, uh, we are, of course, in the middle of a very trying life event. I can't say specifically what that is because YouTube is striking channels for saying the magic words for whatever reason they decide to do that. So I'm not going to do that. But if you live through it, if this is, you know, you're watching this in the future, you uh, live through it, you already know, and if uh, you don't know, Google it. You'll figure it out real quick. Please stay safe and healthy, and um, please come back when I make a new video, which I will look forward to seeing you in soon.